welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day today. I'm gonna to be honest, I'm not in a very good mood right now. My lights are playing up, so my light probably looks really, really oversaturated, and there's way too much contrast. May and June were actually so, so busy for me. I began at uni in June, like the first day of June, I'm pretty sure, and it's been really, really good. Like, I've been enjoying it, but it is such a big change when you haven't done anything for like nine months. You're kind of just like, whoa. As well as uni, I've also tried to go to the footy every single weekend with my parents and my boyfriend, and I'm loving it. I think it's so, so much fun. I'm sure you guys would have seen it in my vlogs and stuff. Just a warning before I begin, a lot of this stuff is a lot more high-end and expensive than I would usually show in my videos, and that's because in April it was my 18th birthday, and I received a lot of birthday money, which was amazing, so thank you to anybody who gave me that. And basically, I put that towards a whole lot of different things that I've been wanting for a long time, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. My skincare favorite has been this Soap & Glory Breakfast Smoothie Scrub. I'm sure a lot of you guys have recognized it as they sell it at Mecca Maxima. Is it Maxima or Mecca Cosmetica? I don't even remember, to be honest. The main reason I bought this was because of the smell, because seriously, it is so amazing to me. That's like every scent that I love in one product. If you're interested, it has oats, sugar, chia, bananas, almonds, honey, and maple syrup. Oh, how good is that? At first, for a while, honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I didn't think it did too much. I thought, yeah, it makes me smell good. But then I was watching Tanya Burr's video, and I saw that she applied this to her body before she got in the shower. And at first, I was kind of like, wouldn't that hurt? But when I tried it, it didn't hurt my skin. And I'm eczema and very sensitive skin, so that's really, really surprising and my skin was so much softer because of it. Also one more thing I was super happy that this was $16 because I think that is an amazing price. I bought some from the body shop that are like 25 that are probably this big. Hair care wise I've been loving this hair curler. It is by the brand VS Sassoon and it is the 19mm Instant Heat Ceramic. I haven't been using it for tight curls so I don't know how good it will be for that but I've just been using it for tiny little loose curls. Before I started setting up I did do a few waves in my hair and you probably can't tell on camera because it's most likely dropped out since then because I don't use hairspray because honestly I just forget. The main thing that I love this for is for adding texture in my hair because that is like my hair goal. Anytime I try to do anything I just want more texture and body. This is actually the first high-end product I've ever bought for myself so it's forever going to be really really special to me and it is a NARS blush in, as you probably guess, the shade Orgasm. I know it is incredibly cliche to get that shade, but it's cliche for a reason. It looks good on everybody. And I love that it looks good no matter what my makeup is. Like right now, I have a navy blue smoky eye, and I was sort of like, ooh, will it look weird when I put on blush? But I put it on, and it just works. It works with everything. And I love that it can look really, really natural, almost as if you're not really even wearing blush, or it can just look really dramatic and pretty. I also love that I've used this like every single time I've worn makeup and it doesn't even look touched. Oh, it's so beautiful. Lipstick wise, I can't really name my favorite because I've been wearing a different one every single day. I have noticed though that when I wear purple lipsticks, I feel so confident. In case you're interested, these are my favorite purple lipsticks. One of them you guys would already know and this is MAC in the shade Heroin. This one is an Australis Velour Lip in the shade Tokyo. This one is a Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm and it's in the shade Shameless. And this one I actually got for a dollar at a heatwave sale, but I think they're usually only $3 anyway, and it's by the brand Ultra 3, and it's in the shade Pearly Grape. You can see a theme continuing throughout this video. These are my favorite nail polishes of the last couple of months. As you can probably tell from the packaging, they are both by the same brand, and that is CoverGirl. I never really use nail polishes by makeup brands because I kind of think, oh, it's not their forte, they're not going to be that good, but these are honestly great. I got both of these at different heatwave sales for probably about $3 each. I was so happy when I got this one because at the time I was actually looking out for a light lavender shade. I actually got it on my nails right now in case you're wondering what that is. This is in the shade lavender by the way. And this one I was just blown away by the color and this is in the shade violet. Not only did I love the shades of these but I loved the finish of them too. Something about applying them almost makes them feel expensive. I've actually really been interested in fashion in the last couple months and I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that I have the freedom to wear whatever I want to uni. These are just a plaid or a tartan and I absolutely love these. I think they're about $45 originally but I got them for $15. I actually got them at the shop Ice. I don't know if Ice is in many places but I am absolutely obsessed with it at the moment. I do have one strange thing to say about these pants though. Basically that is the fly there 
and look what's under here. There's literally just a hole right in not the most flattering spot. And it's not a rip because they're completely seamed up. It's almost like they just forgot to seam those two together. Okay, I have one more fashion favorite. They are these shoes. And I'm sure quite a lot of you guys will recognize this from my vlogs because the first day I tried these on, I got blisters and I was in so much pain. But I absolutely love these now and I actually find them really comfortable. I love the sound they make when I walk. I don't know why, but it makes me feel so much more confident. I've just been obsessed with these. I think they'll even look good with like skirts and dresses. So I can't wait to wear these in the summer. This next thing is again something I wanted for such a long period of time, but I didn't have the money. And it is this candle by the brand Aura, Aura, Aura Sense. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. It's basically an Australian brand that makes really, really good quality candles in the most amazing scent. I nearly bought one that was caramel, but then I actually smelled this and I liked it more. And it's in the scent of blueberry muffin. Seriously, like someone's baking, like right here. It's so nice. If you're looking for a candle with natural wax, I just read on the bottom that this is, so I recommend these. I'm gonna be honest and admit that I've only lit this once, and that's because I've been trying to use up some of my cheap candles so that I can stock up on more of these. The one time I did light it, I was blown away by the scent. It filled the entire room. Over the last couple of months, I've gotten back into eating sushi and that may sound really strange if you don't watch all of my videos. I went through this stage where I was just disgusted by sushi. Now I remember I started to push myself. I was like, okay, I can have this. I'm not going to get sick this time. And I'll literally take a bite and just gag. It was so, so strange. I have no idea what happened, but it lasted for just months and months and months. And then randomly, when I was shopping with my friend Ellie, I actually really felt like having it. And then when I had it, it tasted great. And since then, I have had so much sushi, like, Holy crap, I have sushi every single week now when I go to uni and I absolutely love it. I only have California rolls and if they're sold out, I just get the ones with avocado. If you are a sushi lover and you love California rolls, what other ones do you eat? Because I would love to try other ones, but I'm sort of scared about stepping out of my comfort zone. That is the question for this video. Please let me know because I'd love to try more. I may have mentioned this in another video. I'm not sure, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is this limited edition tea from from T2. I got it over Christmas because I had a whole bunch of sales. If you're like me and you love really, really refreshing teas, I recommend this so much. It is mainly green tea, but it has basil, spearmint, licorice root, and apple bits. Funny story, I had it like loose in here and it kept falling out, and mum thought it looked messy, so she put it in a little bag, and it actually looks like weed, I swear to God. Does that not look suspicious? My favorite health thing is annoyingly not actually mine, it's my dad's. He's been doing this really, really cool detox thing lately which is called Isogenics and it came with this little blender that looks pretty similar to a Nutribullet. Obviously it's not as powerful but it pretty much works the same way. I was so happy when he got this because I absolutely love making smoothies. I think it's given me a little bit of a health kick because sometimes I'm just a little bit hungry but not hungry enough to have a meal so I just whip up one of these and drink it and it's so good. Once I've been reading actual books which sounds really odd but usually my reading things are Yen and Frankie magazines. I have continued to read them but I think it's kind of pointless showing you guys that every single month. I don't think I've ever read two books at the same time because usually I hate it because then you can't really focus on one story. The reason that I could do it this time was because only this one is a story. This is like a self-help book. This book is The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. This book is called The Happiness Trap by Dr. Russ Harris and I got recommended to read this and I've been reading it on the way to uni every single day and I'm absolutely loving it. I find it so, so interesting. I do recommend that anybody read this because I think it would be helpful for anybody but if you have mental illness it would be even better for you. Oh my god TV show wise I've been watching so much at the same time. Let me know in the comments if you have watched or are watching any of these shows because I absolutely loved all three of them. Right now I'm watching the current season of Australia's Next Up Model and the final episode is actually tomorrow and I'm so excited because I love both of the people so I'm happy no matter who wins. I know I'm gonna get judgment for this and I don't think I should honestly because I think it's great show but I also watched all of the season of Marriage at First Sight. I thought it was really cool how it wasn't so much about like the whole reality and drama side of things. It was actually a lot to do with like 
the psychologist seeing like their chemistry and stuff, I thought it was really educational in a way. And I love that combination, reality and education. Oh, it's so good. That's why I love documentaries so much. And the last show isn't actually on TV anymore. It actually came out a long time ago and I did watch every single episode as it came out week by week. But I'm re-watching it right now with my boyfriend because I knew that he would enjoy it and he is so go me. It is the TV show Lost. Has anybody else seen Lost? Please let me know in the comments if you have because I absolutely love it. It's always been one of my favorite TV shows. I think a lot of it's to do with the fact that I was like eight years old as it was coming out. So it was one of like the first really gripping, mysterious, kind of scary shows I ever watched. Surprisingly, over the last couple of months, I've only watched two movies and it's surprising because of the course I'm doing, but I've just been way too busy to watch more. One movie we actually watched in our orientation week and it was called One-Eyed Girl. And it's still haunting me to this day because it was just so creepy. It wasn't a horror movie or anything. It's just all the themes in it were just creepy or they made me uncomfortable and ugh. Really, really well made, but just creepy. We all sort of sat there afterwards like, ah, that was wow. <laughs> the other movie I saw was the complete opposite and it was Ted 2. Let me know in the comments if you have seen Ted 2 because I actually thought it was great. From the trailers it didn't look as good as the first one so I sort of went in just like Ah, hopefully it's right, but it was hilarious. I personally find that from watching stuff, it takes a lot for me to laugh. Head to properly made me laugh out loud multiple times. So I really recommend it, mostly if you've seen the first one. Music-wise, I honestly haven't been listening to much music, which sucks because I love music. But recently, my dad downloaded Chet Faker. Is that how you say it? I'm sure a lot of you guys know who I'm saying anyway, as it is really, really popular. Most people find this song annoying and it is really, really overplayed, but I love the song Riptide by him. For some reason, it just makes me so, so happy. Also, one thing I noticed was that I recognized the majority of these songs and I loved them at the time. So it's almost like I didn't link together that they were all the same artists. I love you when you sing that song and I got a lump in my throat cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. I apologize for my singing just then. I have a cold at the moment. Game-wise, I do actually have something this month and it's something I've been playing quite regularly. The game that I've been loving is called Quiz Up. Some of you guys might not from Tanya Burr. I just realized I've mentioned Tanya Burr twice in this video. We must have a lot in common. We both love Jim Chapnam, so I guess that's true too. One thing that I absolutely love about this is the amount of categories it has. Like it is insane. It even goes into like really particular things inside science or particular movies or TV shows there's like four different Harry Potter quizzes it's so so cool I also love the fact that you verse people from around the world and I also think it's a good way to learn new things because you see what the correct answer is and then you sort of like store that in your memory bank I recommend that you verse me you can simply do that just by typing a sherry bubble in and like challenging me I think that's what you do so that's it for this monthly favorites video I'd love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what your favorite things were from the last couple of months and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me. I promise that everything is usually much better quality and I'm usually much more awake and happy. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye!